This company, Meshi.ai, reached out to me. They want me to show you guys their new generative AI 3D modeling platform. I was playing around with it a little bit. It's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of beautiful things, but also allows you to make your own 3D models that you can view in a 3D space. Let me first start off and show you some of the uh, community-made 3D models with this AI platform. So let's start with this guy right here. Now, I have to go ahead and download. I'm going to go USDZ. I can download this file and view it. Well, in here. And there we go. I have this 3D model and I can make it really big. I can move it around in my space. Let's see if I can add another one. And we got another one. So we can put these 3D models anywhere in our space and have multiple ones showing. You can see show scale. Let's make this one really big. Look at that, it actually has a really nice fidelity to it. You can tell that it's AI generated in a sense, really, because you see some of this material here just looks a little bit off, like a human didn't go ahead and just put all the final touches on it. But it's a really good start if you were trying to make 3D models on the fly. It actually goes pretty quickly. And let me show you what it looks like to actually make your own models. So let's get out of here. As we go back, you can see we've got a few different things, text to 3D, image to 3D, etc. So let's start with text to 3D. And we can do anything you want. So first off, I made a futuristic Vision Pro headset. And this was just me plus playing around with it for a bit. And I can do the same thing. So this is what I had made. Uh, just on my own with one prompt. And you can see the meshing. It's not entirely smooth, but it's actually a pretty good first attempt to just show quickly some prototyping, let's say, with an AI tool, not just to make an image, but to make a 3D model. So that is pretty cool. Okay, we'll exit out of this one. Let's make a fresh one and I'll show you guys the process. Let's go realistic, a honeybee wearing a black helmet. Keep it easy. Let's see what we got here. So, all right, no negative prompt, realistic. There are a few different options here, but we're going to go ahead and generate. We can see the progress here. It goes pretty quickly. It takes about a minute. And let's see what we got. We have a few different ones we can choose from. I think I like this one the most. It seems kind of the most realistic in a sense. So let's go ahead and refine it. And while that's refining, I've played around with some other options where you can actually take an image and then turn that into a 3D model as well. And I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. About five minutes later, this model is now refined. So let's take a look, see what it looks like. We got our preview. In the preview, I got this really clear view just in the browser what this looks like. I actually really like the look of this thing. And get really close to it and see this, but we got to see it on the, in our space. So our AI generated 3D model with just one sentence prompt. Here is our 3D honeybee wearing a black helmet. And I got to say that actually looks pretty cool. Now, I'm no developer or game designer, but I could imagine if you were trying to make some kind of game or needed 3D models really quickly or on the fly, you could do this uh, and test out a lot of different things pretty quickly. Walk around. Let's put this guy right on my counter here. And we can walk around. And now we have a bee in our space, AI generated. It's pretty cool, but there's more. That was text to 3D. Let's take a look at image to 3D. We can drag and drop an image here. All right, let's see if I can upload from Vision Pro. First off, I'll show you really quickly. This is a picture of me that I took for one of my YouTube th thumbnails. So there's the original shot. Here's the model. You can see definitely not as detailed when it's trying to really put together a model from just a photo where it can't really, let's say, use its imagination. It's trying to clone what it sees here. And here I am next to the bee. You can see my thumb kind of uh, going into my chin. That's a pretty weird look. But again, you can start to get the sense of what might be possible in a few months, a few years. Who knows? This stuff is really getting better very quickly these days. 
and I'm assuming that in the near future you could just upload a photo and get a very realistic 3D representation pretty quickly. But right now it is early. It is in alpha as it says, but let's do another one on the fly. I was also reading Meshi's documentation in terms of how to get the best 3D model from a single image. And it shows single object, standard front view, no background, no text. So I'm gonna to try to find something that's a good fit for that. And then let's bring it in and see how it goes. So I uploaded an image of this little skull thing that I have here, and you can see five minutes later, it shows this 3D model, which looks pretty cool. I can see the paint actually aligns pretty closely to what we see in the model. Uh, let's go into the Vision Pro though and see what it looks like in our space. And I'll show you what this actual thing looks like as well. Okay, we're back in the headset and you can see now we got the 3D model here and let's bring it into our space as always. And here we go. To compare, this is the real version and it is pretty similar actually. Now if we look in the back, you're gonna see the colors don't match because it was just a front image. But if we turn this back around and let's put it on the table and do a real comparison here. And here we go. We got the comparison of the virtual and the real skull. Pretty cool. We do see some differences in the colors, of course, and the design, but it's pretty similar. And that was done with one image, five minutes, real physical object to 3D model. So that's pretty much what Meshi has to offer right now out the box. They do have a couple other things like AI texturing and text to voxel. So quite a few things to check out, but uh, here's a glimpse of what they offer. And then here's what it looks like for their plans. You can go ahead and start for free for fun if you want to just play around, see how it works. If you really want to start making a lot of models, they have these different pro and max plans in order to really kind of get the most advantage out of this tool. That's it for Meshi. I would love to hear your thoughts, comments. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. And thanks again to Meshi for letting me try this out.